if you're an FL Studio user and you've got the Lumi keys from Roly and you want to get it working with Vital, I'm going to show you how to do that. The pressure, by, no, by default, it's not going to work. So what you need to do is open your Roly Connect, go to the Roly dashboard, and you need to change it from MPE mode to single channel mode. Make sure you've got the right channel. Usually you just want channel one. And you want the pitch bend range 12 and 12. Once you have this, you can go back into Vital. And if you start with pushing the pressure on the keys, it'll work. And if I tie that to an automation, you can hear the pressure that I push on the key will adjust the filter. Uh, the lift is another one. You can see the faster that you lift your hands off the keys and the faster the key goes up, the higher the lift is. So you can put that on something like the release and, and the, how fast you lift it will affect the release of the note. For the pitch bend, because you set the pitch range, it'll adjust when you pitch up and pitch down. You see it's a bend up and a bend down. And it's just like using the pitch wheel. So you've got all the dimensions there. You've got um, the velocity with the hit. You've got the pressure, which is the after touch. The lift, and it's all recordable too. So with the aftertouch, the velocity, the lift, all linked up, if I record and I just do some aftertouch, some pitch bends, and then I try some l light plucks so I get the lift, we hear the release is working as we expect. So if we go look at the how it's recorded, the channel pitch is the pitch bend, which is essentially the pitch wheel. That's when you twist the key up and down. Then you've got after touch. And this is the pressure that you apply to the key afterwards. The lift is recorded with the note release. So the same way there is a note down velocity, there's a note up velocity or the note release. So this is what controls the lift if you needed to modify those events. So that's how you get all the different dimensions out of your Lumi keys and how you can see the events that were recorded and tweak them if you need to through the channel pitch, the aftertouch, the note release, and the note velocity.